Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my book of the month unboxing. So I have my box. I have not even attempted to open it yet. I just got it last night and I'm excited. I should have grabbed a scissors, but for those of you who don't know, book of the month is a book subscription box that allows you to pick one of five books every month. Each month there are five different types of books and these range from new releases, early releases, um, repeating authors and debuts and all different kinds of books. So if you have the app on your phone, you are able to click the book that you would like to choose that month. You can also look at synopsises of others and all of that to figure out which book you really want to read. And so I know which book is in here, but I haven't looked at it yet. So. This is what the box looks like. It comes wrapped in plastic. And one thing I absolutely love about Book of the Month is that it comes with different kinds of bookmarks. And I love these bookmarks because they're kind of that like cardboardy paper feel almost where it's like thick like cardstock. And they're just really cute. They have little sayings on them like this one says, saved you a spot. And I'll probably start using this because this is really cute. The other one that I really like says, I'll wait here. And I've been using that a lot. So, oh, this is smaller than I was anticipating. Oh, wow, this is skinny. 191 pages. I don't remember the last time reading a book under 300 pages. Oh, one thing that's neat is, I didn't know, I wonder, I might have to check my other book of the month books because I didn't notice, but this has February 2021 on the front with a little book of the month stamp, which is really cool. But I just love how sleek and simple these books are. Anyway, guys, this is Infinite Country by Patricia Ingle. And one thing that really stood out to me about this book was the cover. It just, ah, I mean, look at it. I hate snakes. Absolutely. They could, every plant, snake on the planet could die and I would be okay because they're literally my biggest fear in the entire world. I have a phobia of them and this it already freaks me out. But like, it's just such a pretty cover anyway. And like, I just, I don't know. So this book is about these two characters who fall in love in Colombia and then they go to North America and they have two children. So they have two kids in the US. One of the parents gets deported and I only think it's one of the parents and not both. The main character's name is Talia and she is in a correctional facility for adolescents and if she can't get out she's not gonna be able to go back to the u.s i think some of her family is the rest of her family she is in bogota colombia and she's trying to get to her dad who has a plane ticket back to the u.s so it's just going i think it's going to be quite a struggle in this book it's going to hit a lot of topics that are very present in today this book definitely tackles the issues of deportation and what it is like to be an immigrant in the united states and I believe the author herself is a dual citizen and is from Colombia. So that just makes it all the more real. And obviously it is a novel, but it's going to tackle those hard topics. I read some reviews that talked about how this is a pretty, not dark, but it is pretty deep and it's not the happiest story. And that there are some sexual assault like trigger warnings in this. I'm not, obviously I haven't read it yet, so I don't know, but those were what I picked up on reviews. But I am really looking forward to reading this. There was another book that I really, really toyed with. These were the two books that I went back and forth with and eventually, obviously I chose Infinite Country. The other book I toyed with was The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. And this is a depression era book about this family who is in Texas and they travel to California during the gold rush. And I just do really enjoy those kind of books. And that was why I really toyed with it and I really wanted to read it. But again, I just felt so drawn to this book and I really just wanted to read it. So that's why I got it. These are the other books that were available during the month of February and they're still available now if you would like to check them out. Honey Girl is, I think, LGBTQ friendly and it is about a Virgo <laughs> who spontaneously decides to get married and I think to a complete stranger and then it's kind of learning about how 
she actually enjoys who she marries or something along those lines. Another book that you could have checked out is The Kindest Life. This is a contemporary fiction about a woman who goes back to her hometown and starts to discover some secrets of the town and I think kind of some secrets of her past. So that is another book. And then the last book that you could have gotten is Girl A. Girl A is a suspenseful book about trauma and family and just kind of being haunted and I really don't know much more about it. If you are ever interested in book of the month, I know they always do deals with getting your first book either free or super cheap. It's typically $14.99 a month, which is, I mean, pretty average for a book price. So, I mean, it's just like buying a book every month and that's why I very much enjoy it. I will also put a link down below, which will just, it's kind of like a referral. It just gives me credit. If you choose to use it, you absolutely do not have to. But if you do want to check it out, I will put, put a link below that you're able to just click and go look at. So feel free to do that. So anyway, guys, that is this month's book of the month unboxing. Let me know down below which book of the month you think sounds the most interesting. And that's pretty much it. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so close to 100 subscribers and I seriously cannot wait to hit that milestone. And it's all thanks to you guys. So... Thank you guys so much and please give a like if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!